Shout out Mike Singer of the Denver Post, even though I have a grudge to hold against the Denver Post. Actually, I don't have a grudge. They don't hire sports journalism interns unless you get into the Sports Journalism Institute, which I got two letters of recommendations applied and did not get accepted. They did send me to be a normal journalist and I just didn't fill out the paperwork. So I don't actually hold a grudge against the Denver Post, but I'm going to just this isn't what the video is about. It's about the Denver Nuggets. And look, the Denver Nuggets, what's being told from Mike Singer, shout out, is that Monte Morris is drawing great interest. And the Jamichael Green trade was just the tip of the iceberg. Jamal Murray returns next season. And Bones Highland, Monte Morris, are, and Murray. And they expect to bring back Austin Rivers. Maybe Facundo Campazzo, even though Campazzo got pushed out. I could see Campazzo going to a team like the Minnesota Timberwolves now that Tim Connolly's there. But allegedly, Monte Morris, who I believe is a starting level point guard at the same level as Tyus Jones, has generated significant trade interest among the most coveted player on the trade block for the Nuggets. And Jeff Green, by the way, picked up his $4.5 million player option and is expected to be back on the team next year, or unless they trade him, but I doubt they will. So with that being said, with Morris and Bones Highland being the primary with J Jamal Murray being primary backed up they expect next year Bones Highland and then they probably will have Austin Rivers as well be the other guard he'll be cheap they can bring him back on a minimum but Mike Singer over here says look I think it's definitely interesting to think about who could be going for Monte Morris I personally think if Jalen Brunson stays in Dallas if Colin Sexton stays in Cleveland, which is a very possibility, or if he goes to the Pistons and Tyus Jones ends up going to the Knicks, there are going to be a bunch of teams that need a point guard, like the Wizards. The Wizards would love a Monte Morris. Monte Morris could start for the Wizards. You know, there's other teams out there that you could argue. I know D'Angelo Russell is on the trade block, and as a Timberwolves fan myself, I wouldn't actually mind Monte Morris over D'Angelo Russell. I think Russell's maybe a, a tier above him. But for the money, I'd rather be paying Morris and have Morris, Morris's production than be paying D'Angelo Russell 25 plus million dollars a year. That's just me right there speaking out loud. There's definitely other teams like the Pacers, again, the Pistons, the Knicks. I had to sneeze, guys. God dang. And... I think the best thing about Monte Morris is he's an all-around guy. He's not he's a good shooter, he's a good defender, he's a good offense player, but he's not elite at anything, but he's not bad at anything. So also I got a new chair. Isn't this where well, my roommate moved out today? A little sad. I actually did cry, but I just got a lot of new new toys because he didn't want to take a bunch of stuff. He had a smaller car. Either way, Monte Morris, in my opinion, I think is going to be a coveted guy. I think it will be a draft night trade. Isn't it crazy the draft is in five days? That is wild. The draft is in five days. Would not. Damn. So who do you guys think Monte Morris will go? If you're the Denver Nuggets, what is a good Monte Morris trade? I think you send me two players, at two almost starting level players that match the salary for him. That's fine. I would take Josh Hart in a first round pick for Monte Morris, but I, I doubt the Blazers do that. I would take a trade exception and a first round pick and maybe a few second round picks. That's just me valuing. I want to know if you guys agree with that value. That's the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy.